What's going on, YouTube? How about you? Here we are, another day. Time to get rolling, right? It's one of them days don't really feel like trucking, man. <laughs> well, we gotta get up, we gotta go. It's time to go make some money. I'll talk to you guys a little bit today. Something on my mind I've been wanting to talk about is uh, uh, getting into a lease purchase or lease owner op anything like that uh, it's not for everybody you know um, sometimes you can do uh, just fine as a company driver uh, a lot of people are giving me a hard time right now because of the decision that I made to go back to being back into a company position company type position um, it's rough out here guys you know I ain't gonna lie and um, it, it's a struggle I can't keep saying that enough y'all hear that all the time right damn struggle out here and um, you know sometimes it's okay to take a step back you know um, take a step back go back into a company position uh, lick your wounds you know and uh, regather yourself gather your thoughts come up with a different plan and uh, just work it out you know sometimes you need more stability um, hell that's that's one of the reasons why I came over here to RST Riverside um, because it's guaranteed salary you know? um, not a lot of things actually uh, yeah not a lot of things out here in trucking are guaranteed uh, the one thing that's that's guaranteed is, is taxes and <laughs> and um, and problems you know those are guaranteed out here in trucking is problems and, and taxes um, being on a guaranteed salary over here um, it provided a lot of stability for me which is what I needed um, the lease game the lease purchase game uh, the owner op game owning a truck out here um, there's not a lot of stability you know it's a high risk type deal um, you know you can lose it all you can lose it all out here, even just in a regular lease, um, because of the ups and downs. You know, um, there's it's kind of like a drug. Um, it's kind of the way I explain it to a few people. Um, it's kind of like a drug. You know, the the highs out here are are freaking great, man. Um, getting a big ass paycheck. You know, three, four, five thousand dollar paycheck a week out here. It's high man you're high you're on top of the world you know you're on top of the world out here everything is good life is good man just throwing money at home like nobody's business you know filling up the bank accounts I did that I did that been there done that and it was nice man it was a drug it was great but the lows man the lows will kick your ass you know and depending on on your financial situation you know it's like I'm, I'm starting to hit on uh, managing your expenses all that sort of stuff you know depending on where you're at uh, with your finances is is gonna be a, a huge thing of how low you're gonna go you know how how the lows are gonna affect you out here um, you know the highs are obviously great you know you're, you're, you're making good money and the highs are great but the lows man it's what kicks everybody's ass out here um, you know going three weeks without a paycheck going going a month without a paycheck because of breakdowns because of, of anything you know um, you name it it'll happen out here all right um, don't let me scare you too much you know <laughs> it, it's it's not that bad but it can be you know um, I tell a lot of people, look, if you're sole provider out here and, you know, wife and kids at home, um, 
people that a lot of people that depend on you. Um, it might not be such a good idea to get into a lease or lease purchase or or be chasing that dream of being an owner op. You know, um, that's great. I get the owner op thing. Look, I, I love it, man. I love it, and um, maybe one day I'll attempt it again. You know, um, but it might not be for you. It really might. It might not. Um, just because of the lows, you know, you have, like I've been saying, you know, four, you have three thousand dollar check, and then uh, the week after that would be two hundred dollar check, and then after that it would be you know a thousand dollar check. It'd be up and down, you know. Um, sometimes you get a few good checks right in a row, and you'll have a good month, you know. Um, hell, you'll have good two good months and back to back, and then something will happen. Uh, that's just the way it is, you know. And if you're not set up at home, if your expenses aren't straight at home, to where you can take a hit, you can go in the shop, um, stay in a hotel for three, four days uh, while the truck's getting fixed. You know, it's, it's stuff like that that really hits you, you know. And it drives me nuts, man. I, after I've been running this company gig you know I'm getting a quite a bit of hate mail well, a little bit of hate mail um, you know I'll still I still have all my knowledge you know I still been out here the same amount of time I've still uh, been with the same companies I've still um, run flatbed I've done lease I've done try to lease uh, lease purchase and you know people are saying that that my information is no good <laughs> you know uh, oh, Rob don't you don't know what he don't know what he's talking about you know he's he, he, he couldn't make it you know well the thing is 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 I got a lot of people that depend on me you know um, again the highs were great but the lows man the, the lows kicked my ass you know the lows really kicked my ass I won't lie I've never I've never tried to hide uh, my mistakes out here or anything bad that I've done you know um, the lows kicked my ass so um, you know, I'm getting a lot of getting a lot of feedback getting a lot of uh, a lot of hate mail uh, of going back to a company driver oh man you don't know what you're talking about do you? you're just a company driver right all right when when the real fact of the matter is is I actually have another experience to talk about now um coming from experience you know um that's the number one thing out here guys the everybody says that safety is the number one thing out here safety is number one i disagree <laughs> i disagree and here's why the number one thing out of here in trucking the number one most important thing out here in trucking is knowledge that's the number one thing out here is knowledge not safety because you cannot know what you're doing you cannot have a clue out here and be safe you know picking up on that you can have have a freaking clue what you're doing out here as far as the business or, or how to operate you know and, and you can be safe you cannot break stuff you know um, can't get not getting an accident you know um, it's knowledge guys knowledge and, and then number two is experience of, of doing your time out here um, that's where I'm making this video you know experience um, I don't know anything man you're just a company driver Oh, okay, but I've done quite a few things, you know, and that's what I'm talking about, you know, telling these guys that, that are thinking about getting into this stuff when it just might not be for you, you know, it, it might not, you know, most of y'all will agree with that. It might not be for everybody. Uh, being an owner op isn't for everybody. Being a lease op, a lease purchase op. Whatever you want to call it. It might not be for everybody. You have to take this information out here, you know, um, and, and use it. Use all of it. Watch all the videos. Watch everybody's videos. I don't care who it is. 
Watch, listen to everybody's podcast. Listen to everybody's radio show. You know, um, here it is Wednesday, uh, April 5th. We're going to be doing the Rob and Woody show tonight over on L&J. We're going to be talking about um, how to pick your first truck. You know, what what kind of truck should be your first truck? And this would be pointed towards those guys that are chasing the dream of, of uh, owner-op, of owning a truck. Or even leasing a truck. You know, putting that information out there. It's good stuff, man. Just listen to it. Listen to everybody. You know. And it's 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 important out here guys because it'll get you this industry will chew you up and shit you out before you even know what happened you know it's like that man it's that's no joke you know um don't think this this is like a depressing oh rob's doing bad no i'm doing great i'm doing great i love it here um i think i found my last company RST Riverside is, is going to be uh, my last company. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. I'm done. You know, um, everything that's going on here is, is legit. Like I said, guaranteed salary. Um, every two weeks, my paycheck is exactly the same. It's exactly the same. It's stable. It's steady. You know, so I can support my family. Every paycheck is the same. And uh, gonna grow, you know? It's gonna get bigger. It's gonna get bigger. So the only way it's gonna go is up. So, you know, people are saying it's stupid, it ain't gonna work. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> and if it don't work, if it fails, something goes wrong, well, you're gonna hear about it, you know? But, uh, I'm about, about uh, this is uh, week number six or week number seven here, you know. So working on two months here, and I love it. I love it. All is well. Um, you just got to spend the time. You got to invest the time to to figure it out, you know. So it might not be for everybody. It really might. So think about that, guys. If you guys know. Uh, some owner ops or lease ops out here talk to them you know if you're thinking about getting into this stuff talk to them and and tell them to show tell them to show you their bad checks tell them to tell you their horror stories don't ask well how much do you make a lot of these guys are asking the wrong questions you know uh, what kind of trucks you got what do you run peterbilt to kenworth you know they're, they're trying to trying to super truck, trying to be super truckers, um, right out of the gate, you know, uh, you got any Peterbilt's? Oh, okay, you know, well, how, how fast do the trucks run? How, what are your trucks governed at? You know, how do I need to govern my truck? How fast can we run, you know, um, without understanding the business, you know, all they want is, is just that big, shiny Peterbilt or K-Dub that'll, that's wide open, triple digit down truck get out here and rip rip roar up and down the highway without understanding the freaking business you know but they're, they're answering they're asking all the wrong questions what kind of trucks you got how fast do they run those are the the last questions you should be asking those are those are at the bottom of the list you know the questions you need to be asking is is what's the pay where's the money what kind of money are we looking at what's the bad like what's a bad paycheck there Oh, you're over at uh at Johnny Frank's Transport Service. Hey, well, man, you know what's the money like over there? What's the bad like there? What's the slow time? Y'all got any slow times? Does freight slow down for you guys? Those are the questions. You know, um, what's the pay package? What's the what's the benefits package? Y'all got insurance? Y'all pay uh, a 1099 W two? How do you guys pay? Those are the right questions. <clears throat> Not what kind of trucks you got and how fast they go. Those should be the last questions. So, do your research, guys. So, I'm going to get going. We got a long run to make today. And uh, let's go trucking, guys. Remember to uh, be the professional. Set the example. I mean that shit, man. 
be the example out here guys if you know something um, help somebody help somebody now I used to train I trained for two years oh yeah but but I don't know anything you know um, I've got very successful students out here some of them are owner ops uh, very successful owner ops but you know I, I don't know anything my, my information is no good you know um, so I enjoy teaching that's why I do this I enjoy putting information out there is it am I right maybe am I wrong maybe <laughs> I don't know you know it's up to you to figure that out you know so I'll put it out here and uh, there you go guys I'm gonna go trucking uh, today is good we're gonna rock and roll so this is a positive video guys don't don't get it wrong I just kind of woke up a little bit I'm, I'm waking up we're gonna go trucking this was not a, 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 a oh fuck trucking man this was not that kind of video this is an information uh, slap in the face hey wake up and do your research guys you know do your research out here that's it that's what this was about so it might not be for you you might might, might want to uh shit can that idea of being an owner op if you're uh married and and uh got five kids running around and, you know something like that it might not be for you you know mm -hmm. you might just want to look at a really good company position so it's steady so there you go guys i'm gonna go trucking i'll talk to you later